Hello, I'm Michael Agard and thank you very much for watching this short video on how to set up an A-B split test in three minutes. I'm going to show you how to use one of my favorite tools, Visual Website Optimizer. And the thing that makes this tool so completely awesome is the fact that it's very, very easy to set up split tests. You can do it in a matter of minutes and you can do it without having any prior knowledge of coding or HTML. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is to go to visualwebsiteoptimize.com and set up an account. It'll take about two minutes, and then you're ready to log in and go to the dashboard. And the first thing you'll have to do is to get a little bit of tracking code that you need to implement on your website. So go to Tools, click Get Tracking Code, simply copy the code, and then paste it into your CMS and implement it globally on your website. Uh, just like you would with an analytics code, for example. If you use WordPress, it's even easier. You just get a little download, a little plugin, and then you're pretty much ready to roll. And this is all the worrying about code you'll have to do. Once you got the code on there, then you're set, and you can control everything directly via the interface uh, here in the dashboard of uh, Visual Website Optimizer. Okay, so let's try to set up a test. Uh, the easiest way of doing it is just to click. Uh, just to go to create test and click A-B test and then just pretty much follow the steps. So the first thing to do is to enter the URL of the page you want to conduct an experiment on. Just as an example I'm going to use a landing page from one of my clients here. Just copy the URL, paste it and click create test. Okay so now we're actually going into the split testing tool here. So you can see when I move the mouse around when I move the cursor, it will highlight different areas. So these are different elements that you can that you can manipulate and that you can you can tweak. So I'm just gonna pick some random variables just to show you what it can do. So for example, let's say I wanted to, to move the search bar here, for example. I simply click move and just drag it. So let's see, I want to put it here. Fine. Another thing I want to test is the position of the references in the in the reference box here so you just click that and say rearrange just drag it and as you can see it changes places with the other box here cool that's it then maybe I want to tweak some copy as well let's tweak the copy in the in the in the call to action button so it says read full essay I click it click change text and then as you can see you can pretty much write anything you want tweak it any which way you want so uh, read full essay and start writing. We could use that as a variation. Okay, so now we've changed three things. So we have a couple of variations of the page and you can see you have the control version, the original version you're going to be testing up against here. Then you can click down and you can see your variation. And uh, we're almost ready to go now. So just click proceed to next step. On the next step, you need to define some conversion goals, of course, and in this case, the most relevant goal is actually click through to the next page, because that's actually what we use this landing page for, is just to transport people from the landing page over to the pricing page. So I'm going to copy the URL here, paste it, and this is the conversion goal. So every time someone gets to this page, we know that it's been a success. You can add other goals if you want to, but I'm not going to get into that right now. I'll let you play with that on your own and just click next step and then you can for example you know give your test the name whatever uh, landing page test one and then here you can you can enter a few notes or hypothesis or a research question whatever you want and you have a little overview of the different elements of the test here and then you actually just have to click create your test and you're pretty much ready to roll. It just the tool just checks whether the code is installed. It is, and you can start the test later or start it now. Let's just start it now. So we click, bam, and your test is up and running. So there haven't been any visitors or conversions yet, of course, but I'm just going to show you some of the different details here on the dashboard. You can go to detail report. It'll give you a complete overview of all the visitors, of the improvement, the uh, chance to beat the original, and so on. You can preview the different variations right here yep you can see the variation you can it has the tool has built in heat maps and clip maps which can come in very handy uh, they have been in clicks yet of course so I can't show it but it's just a little nice little feature here 
and also you can go in and tweak the test afterwards here on uh, view uh, edit test details all right awesome so that's how incredibly simple it is to set up a split test with visual website optimizer in the post here just below the video there's a little banner you can click if you do that then it'll take you to a sign up page where you can get a thousand free visitors so you can experiment with the tool without having to pay for it all right thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again some other time